brainstorm bear. Sam was setting up tables in the driveway. He noticed a brown bear up a tree nearby. Mom, there's a bear over there, Sam called. What if it comes down and attacks us? asked Sam's little sister, Sarah. Mr. Miller took Sarah's hand. We'll keep a safe distance away, she replied. We need to get the bear down before our yard sale starts, Sam said. We could always cancel it. The yard sale, Mr. Miller said. I put up so many signs, Sam groaned. I know we can't get the bear to come down if we just brainstorm the right idea. Like the idea you had for the squirrels, his mom asked. Two weeks before, Sam tried to stop a squirrel from eating all the bird seed and dug a pit around the bird feeder and ruined his mother's tulip. This is different, Sam said. I promise you, you'd draw all my idea, ideas first before I actually do anything. We could move for our trampoline under the trees. The bear could jump into it, Sarah suggests. Sam drew an idea on his notepad. The, he pictured the bear bouncing high into the air. I think the trampoline's too bouncy, Sarah. Sarah, he said. Mom? What would you do to get the bear out of the tree? Sarah asked. I, I play a really bad song from the radio. Mr. Miller laughed. Sam drew the idea on his notepad. The image of the bear climbing even higher in the tree get away from the noise. If you play the bad song, the bear would never come down, Sam sighed. Look, the bear's eating something. Up there, Sarah said, he's probably found, found some nuts that were stashed away by squirrels, Mr. Miller said. I've got it, Sam shouted. He scripted his plan in... He scripted his... I've got it, Sam shouted. He scribbled his plan in the notepad and showed Sarah and his mom. We can make a trail of nuts leading back to the forest, Sam said. Let's, let's get nuts, Sarah yelled. All right, let's try it, Mr. Miller said. Everyone raced to the chestnut tree in the backyard. We're going to get the bear out of the tree, Sam shouted. Well, they, they were gathering the chestnuts, the bear climbed down from the trees. Sam returned, just in time to see the bear disappear into the woods behind the neighbor's house. Oh, the bear's gone, he said. Look, look on the bright side, Mr. Miller said. At least you can have the yard sale now, she smiled. Bear safety. In many places, bears sometimes come close to people's homes. If you can see a bear near your house, do not go near it. Back away, slowly and calmly, and go inside your house. Stay inside and call your local department and wildlife if you need help. 